an amazing woman. She's Cubana, she's Dominicana, and you probably know her as Gloria on Orange is the New Black. Please help me welcome Selenis Leiva. <laughs> Thank you. And next we have an incredible man, apart from being super handsome and an amazing dad and husband, he was, he plays a detective on Gotham. Please help me welcome J.W. Cortez. <laughs> Thank you, honey pie. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. This is a super important panel. I'm really excited to do it because you guys are heroes in our communities because you are breaking barriers in places that have been really difficult for our community in our history since we got to this country. Um, and we've been here for a long time. Yes, but <laughs> we were here with the settlers, believe it or not. Um, but wanted to talk to you about those first moments before we get into the meat of it. I want to know that moment that you knew I'm making it. I'm going to start with you, Sinanis. When did you know? What was that moment like? And when did you know you were making it in Hollywood? I think I knew that I had made it in Hollywood the day that I went to Starbucks and everybody recognized me. It was like one day you go to sleep, nobody knows who you are, even though I've been in it for 20 years. Yeah. And then suddenly, you know, there's a bus that travels by me and it's my face. So th I think that for me was like a moment of like, wow, I guess I've arrived. Of course, and that's from your character on, Net, on Netflix, on Orange is the Black. Gloria Mendoza, who plays the, the leader of the Latina crew on the show. It just feels wonderful to be part of a successful show, critically acclaimed, accepted and loved by the fans, and to be part of the success of it. The Latinas on the show are just as important for the first time as you know the leading actress who's Caucasian, like we're all on the same page, which is great. You know, it's very interesting because the other part where it's important is the cuarto of the writers, the writer's room. The writer's room is where it all begins in many ways. And um, I'm really curious, what are you got, how are you guys communicating with those writers? And I know, I know, and we'll get to some lines because I'm sure you're talking, but I want to hear JW. Como, como tú te comunicas con ellos para que ellos sepan, así es que debemos de, de, de contar nuestra historia. I think one of the ways that we can communicate best with the writers on these TV shows is to come prepared. Mm. Is to come really, I always say we have to be that much better than everyone else. Mm -hmm. So true. And Steve Martin, true. one of the uh, most famous comedians of our time, said, be so good they can't ignore you. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Be the best Gloria that. Mendoza that you can be I because there's no one else that they can possibly see in that role. So for me, that's one of the ways that I, I feel that we, as inspiring uh, talent, as, as artists, that we can communicate non-verbally yeah. is be so good, so prepared. You'd be surprised how many people in this business come in here thinking, I just want to be famous. I want a lot of Instagram followers. Free I yeah. want free stuff. Yeah. I want to go to people Espanol and... You know, but the, the truth is, is that what we do takes a lot of hard work. That's right. And what's beautiful about our community is that we're used to that. Mm. We're used to working so hard for whatever we've achieved in this country that no one can come here, no one can stand on a box, That's beat right. their chest as a presidential candidate, and call us anything but super. That's right. That's right. We are Latinos and we belong in this country. We've been here, we're gonna continue to stay here, we're not going anywhere. Hamilton, in the play Hamilton, he has a line where it says, if you want to get something done, immigrants get the job done fast. That's right, that's right. And that's what we're here doing. So you, you appeared in Power, which is an amazing show. Mi amor, Power. Anybody watch Power? <laughs> Did you see when Lobos was in jail and he got taken out of the van and they killed that guy, Raul? Remember, that was me. She's like, yo lo sabía. <laughs> they killed Raul, mija. Killed yes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's, a, it's another opportunity to flex the muscle. Uh, people get excited when they see someone they can relate to. Yeah. I've done 20 plus episodes of Gotham. I do one of power and the world's sick. <laughs> the world was gonna end. <laughs> oh, no. So. Tell us, okay, so we have a couple minutes left. I just wanna hear what's on the horizon for you guys. What are some of the projects you wanna share with the group here that you wanna bring attention to? Um, HBO Habla y Vota is really important to me. Uh, it's talking about probably the most debated, criticized, critical election of our nation's history. Great. People remember where they were for 9-11. They're going to ask you, where were you for this election? Right. 10, 20 years from now. 
our time is now, not tomorrow. So that's really important to me. Yeah. Um, that's right. Uh, Gotham, Alvarez is still alive three seasons yes. later. Yes. No lo matara, no lo matara, no lo matara. <laughs> but you know, um, if the fans can continue to support the show and, and support us and make them know that they want to see more Latino, Great. especially more Alvarez, that's always incredibly supportive and appreciative. And um, is there a show you want to be on that we should uh, we should go lobby together? I would love to play uh, J Lo's love interest. No, scratch that. <laughs> scratch that. No, delete that comment. <laughs> I want to play her love interest on Orange Is the New Black. Yeah. yeah. Can we make that happen? All right, guys, let's make that happen. We can do that. Gloria <laughs> needs some action. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I just want to continue working. I, I'm so blessed to be on season five of Orange is the New Black. I have a couple of films coming out. So this is a good time. I'm excited. I'm going to be even more excited come November 8th when my people, nuestra gente va a salir y van a votar. Yes. Así que por favor, gracias por todo el apoyo que, que nos, nos, nos siguen dando a nosotras en, en Orange is the New Black, en, en Gotham. Y, y nada, nuestra gente puede. Podemos unirnos y, y causar un caos grande para el señor Trump. Oh, sí. That's right. Para adelante, muchachos. All right, well, that's all the time we have. Thank you guys so much. Un besote. Gracias, thank you. Gracias. Thank you so that was good. much. Oh, like my, my, yes. ¿Tenés un teléfono? Tenés un teléfono para tomarnos el selfie.